So I think you could say that most Trump supporters are stayed with him, with one notable exception, uh, and that would be Mitch McConnell, a.k.a. The Turtle. That's his nickname. Now, I don't know why. I like the Turtles pop group, and one of them looks like a turtle. I guess Mitch McConnell, if you look at him a certain way, could resemble a tortoise, but I'm not sure. Uh, but McConnell, as we have been telling you, is a shifty kind of guy, doesn't like Donald Trump at all, may have good reason. Absolutely, Donald Trump has alienated an awful lot of people uh, in his own party and who actually worked for him. Well, here's what McConnell said today. Roll it. The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. And they tried to use fear and violence to stop a specific proceeding of the first branch of the federal government, which they did not like. But we pressed on. We stood together and said an angry mob would not get veto power over the rule of law in our nation, not even for one night. All right, so that signals that uh, Trump's on his own uh, when the Senate holds its impeachment trial, which it will, according to the new Senate Majority Leader, Charles Schumer of New York. Roll it. After what he has done, the consequences of which we were all witness to, Donald Trump should not be eligible to run for office ever again. All of us want to put this awful chapter in our nation's history behind us. But healing and unity will only come if there is truth and accountability, not sweeping such a severe charge, such awful actions under the rug. So let me be clear. There will be an impeachment trial in the United States Senate. There will be a vote on conviction the president for high crimes and misdemeanors. And if the president is convicted, there will be a vote on barring him from running again. And that's what it's all about. Now, I can make a case that uh, Donald Trump did not incite a mob to attack the Capitol. Um, and that is the charge in the Senate. And that is what the House said he did by a um, mostly party vote. I think there were nine Republicans that came over. So there is this gulpatory evidence, as you know, you've heard it, but there will be a trial. Uh, Donald Trump will not attend the trial. He will send lawyers. You need 16 Republican senators. Remember, the Senate is now tied 50-50. You need 16 Republican senators to vote for conviction. Can the Republicans stop that. Well, you got to figure that Romney, Murkowski, Sace, Ben Sace, and Susan Collins will vote for conviction. So that means 12 more have to, 12 more Republicans. I don't think that's going to happen, especially if the lawyers that Donald Trump uses are articulate, methodical, and fact-based. All right, so the American people see the defense of this, not in a hysterical way, but in a very calm, deliberate way. Because if you are a Republican senator in a state that voted for Donald Trump and you vote to convict him, you're probably going to lose next time around. And all of these people, unfortunately, are in it for self-interest. So why did McConnell turn? Well, Mitch McConnell uh, wants Joe Biden's ear, and he has it. I understand that Biden and McConnell may go to mass together. I, didn't even, I don't think McConnell's Catholic, but they may go to mass together on Sunday. And as uh, we reported and no one else did, Mitch McConnell was the only Republican senator to attend Bo Biden's funeral. All right, so... Uh, McConnell and Biden have a strong relationship, and McConnell wants to keep that. And if he jabs Trump, that's a plus. You see what I'm talking about? This is the way the system operates. Now, what McConnell is doing will badly hurt 
the Republican Party in the short term by pitting Republican senators against one another and sending a message to Republican voters, all 74 million of them, that the party doesn't really back Donald Trump. That's going to divide the party. McConnell's got to know that. I think he thinks that after a year of Trump being out of office, all of this will decline. And, you know, look, Joe Biden has got a lot of problems, as we said yesterday, a lot of policy problems. 